This time we're going to create a roll along sequence. So we select a new line sequence with a 2 meter electrode space in and increase the number of electrodes to 72. In the configuration tab we can then enter the name of the sequence and select it from the electrode array ensuring that we're interested in row at 500 milliseconds with a Q max of 2. On the grid of depth levels we drag along until the required number of depth levels is selected and press the standard compute button. This shows that our sequence will be 43 minutes 21 seconds long and we can give it a file name. In graph view we can then see our normal sequence file as we would do any other survey. To create the roll along you click the create new move sequence button and enter the number of electrodes you want to move by. This will then show you the roll along sequence. It's automatically saved and we can view it in the graph view. If you select both the files you can view both the original and the roll along file. The highlighted one is shown in red and here the roll along file is shown in grey. Sometimes in your survey you may go deeper than the capabilities of a roll along. If we increase the depth to 20 levels and create a roll along sequence from this when we go into the graph view we can see that there is a gap of missing data at the bottom of the sequence files if you click on one of the electrode readings it will show you the exact depth of that reading. You can then go back into the configuration tab and take away the readings that lead to the missing gap of data by highlighting them and pressing delete. We can then regenerate the standard compute and the roll along sequence files and view the new graph. We can now see that there is no data missing. To upload the files, ensure they are selected and press the upload button. Then follow the instructions on the